Hey guys, we're back with The Walking Dead. Um, jeez. I don't know what to think about last episode. <laughs> I don't know who to trust. That guy seemed really shady, though. Like, the way he introduced himself, and I'm pretty sure he lied about his name, and... I don't know. Um, we'll see if we can get to know this group a little better, and see if we can get their story. to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. Well, they told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. He was coming in either way. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? His voice was gravelly. Like how? I don't know. Kind of deep and scratchy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Now, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy. Or not nice. Right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Now, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. Why did you leave his camp? Because we had to. Okay, but why? I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. I got binoculars? When did I get binoculars? I have a feeling we should remember that knife is in that drawer. And he said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now, with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? Just, just kind of walked away from that. Kind of sick of that BS. <laughs> He 
He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. I don't know who to believe or what. This group seems just as shady as that guy. Like Pete. Oh my God! What happened? What the hell happened? He's been shot. Wait, was he? He didn't have a gun. Who did this? Son of a bitch! We need to go. He's gone. Nick, he, he, he's gone. You gotta get moving. Come on, man. Well, Nick is the unhinged one of the group, so he'll do something crazy. I don't know. Look, I know we got off to a rough start, and I can't make any promises it won't get rougher, but we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I don't have anywhere else to go. Well then, welcome to the party. Yeah, thanks. We're, uh, we're smarter than we look. I figured we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, but we have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. Goodness. Five days for the pregnant lady. That should be good. She'll like that. Five days later. Must have been uneventful. So in five days, has anybody informed me why this group split off from that group? Or just because we had to? See anything? Smoke. She better see something. We've walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. Here, eat this back. But we're almost out of food. We gotta save it. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. I swear, I thought I saw smoke when we all walked up. It might have been the clouds. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but 
but we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. She's a valuable... You're not my girl. dad, Carlos. I mean, hell, if she can sew up her own arm, she's fit to cross a bridge. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go, too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. I like Luke. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. They're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? Yeah, what'd you guys do? What's the most important thing in this world? To know why Carver is what following does everyone you? everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Safety? Close. Listen, what's the one thing a guy would walk hundreds of miles to get back? Something you can't just find. Come on. Clem, it's family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. Ooh, gross. Hmm. Can't shoot him. Too much noise. There are only two. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll get the one on the left. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. What do I have for a weapon, though? Oh, okay. Still got that hammer. Go ahead. Give us a good pull. Get your gum free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. Nice work, kid. Ow. <laughs> so what? Carver's coming for family? So who's he related to? Oh my god, is it the kit? Is it Is it Carver's baby in her stomach? Oh gosh. Well, I'm okay. I just I'm stuck. I can't grab him. He's okay. Clem, look, we'll figure something out. Behind you. Oh shit. Oh, 
Oh gosh. Oh. I didn't see the arrow. Couldn't even see the arrow. They should make that a little more pronounced. Red arrow on the red bridge. There goes my hammer. Push her off. There you go. Oh boy. We still have one more up here, don't we? Because he was going for the one further down the bridge. Thanks, Clem. You're welcome. Let's I keep going. I think I'm the most capable member of the entire group. <laughs> Maybe. Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. Is he with Carver? It's hard to see. I don't think so. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. We're a little lost. Lost, huh? like assholes are you assholes no offense or anything but you know how it is out here you run into a lot of assholes i'm not an asshole well, are you calling me an asshole <laughs> <laughs> you folks headed north like everyone else everyone else i see at least one group a day move through here they all look the same it's like a great migration of the dazed and confused have you seen someone named krista krista Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? Oh gosh, no, no. no. no, no. He's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Oh. Oh. I told you, what was I just saying? Gosh, that's, I was just saying he's gonna be the one who's gonna go off the rails. Gosh darn it. Who the fuck was that back there? 
I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Is that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? I don't know. It happened so fast. But you were right there. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. You could use a little downsizing. You're one to talk. Sure. Sure, whatever. I'll do it. Thanks, Clem. Yep, send the girl to do it. <laughs> These guys are a joke. Um, we're going to end this one here. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Kazmir out. <laughs>